Hey, Austin, just what was your reaction to last night's game and, and what's the team's mindset uh, going into game two, knowing that it's more or less a must win, obviously not wanting to go down 0-2 and then go go to Portland? Uh, I mean, at first, I feel like every game's a must win. You know, I've been down two games and come back and tied the series up before. I mean, the same team has been down 3-1, right. you know, multiple times. Um, but, yeah, more or less, it's a, it's a, it, is, it is a, you know, you don't want to go down 2-0 going to the opposing team's, uh, you know, home floor. So, um, you know, listen, you know, a lot of things we felt last night, we had chances to win the game, but, you know, we did so many things that we know we could do better just in terms of us closing out quarters, um, you know, knowing personnel, running the right guys off the three-point line, and then even offensively playing with pace, um, attacking their guys. Uh, I'll speak for myself. I uh, didn't feel like I did that as well as I should have. So, you know, that's a good thing about the playoffs. You, you get a game and you get time to, to look at it, and you're playing that same team again. You know what I mean? So you, you make adjustments just like they'll make some as well. So, Brandon Cristal, KOA. So I just kind of asked Coach this, and, and Monte talked about Michael talked about it. Is there a lot of conversation about the importance and the urgency of not wanting to go down 0-2, or do you think there's enough vets, enough guys that have been here that you guys kind of you know know the deal? No, we haven't even brought it up. I think it's just expected that we you know we're, we're going to win the game. You know, that's just like I'm sure they expect to win the game. You know what I mean? You 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 play to win. You play to win, and and, and everybody feels like they're going to win, and. I don't think anybody ever thinks, oh, we can't go down. You know, we're already putting that in the air. You know what I mean? I, again, I can't speak for other teams or other players, but I've never thought that way. You know, that's like the same mindset of if you miss two shots in a row, you're like, ah, what? A, I don't want to start the game over for. You know what I mean? Like you just you just go play. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, we feel like we have the best team. They feel like they have the best team. And you go out there and you, you do your job and the best team wins. And last game, they made more plays than us. And, and I feel like we lost a little bit of, of – of, um, you know, our identity at times and especially on the defensive end and, you know, not paying attention to the game plan. And um, again, uh, just watching the film today, they say film doesn't lie. You know, we had a, a, a film session where we, we watched, a, you know, more than 30 clips and, you know, you look at yourself on the floor and you evaluate yourself first and you see, okay, I could, I could be much better. And I think collectively we all knew we could be collectively individually, even um, just much, much better, more aggressive, more in attack mode, the same way those guys attack us, we got to go back at them. Um, and then, uh, you know, just the game plan on defense was 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 huge for us yesterday, just knowing personnel. Um, you know, Anthony Simmons has 14 off the bench. Carmelo has 18. You know, shooters are getting good shots, not rotating, knowing tendencies of guys, which directions they like to go. Uh, but that's, you know, it's going to get better and better because that's, that's a good thing about the playoffs. You play a team multiple times, you know what I mean? So by game two or three, you know, four, everybody has familiarity with each other. So, like, you know everything about the other team. So uh, we just got to pick that up. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Austin, Malone kind of just went out of his way to say he needs you guys to be a little bit more physical in game two. He mentioned, like, the five and ones that they had and, like, if yeah. you're going to foul somebody – you can't let them get the end one all. So I guess just in your mind, what does what does being more physical look like to you in game two? Um, I just feel like us being, you know, I mean, yeah, just <laughs> pretty much what you just said. I mean, we just have to be more physical. I don't, I don't, that's kind of what it is within itself. They had a couple of times, even myself, I fouled Nurkic on a, you know, a little petty foul instead of doing a hard foul. Because I promise you they were fouling us or they were screening us. You should see the screens that they were setting yesterday. Uh, they're not refs aren't calling it and you know it's the playoffs they're not going to call as many fouls we need to use this to our advantage uh, we need to start laying some 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 screens and guards we have to do a good a better job of setting the guards up um, I felt like we we played really well yesterday but more or less they won the game just because I felt like collectively they were more aggressive and more in attack mode the whole game and I thought we had spurts but then we had droughts where we'd go two or three minutes of us not doing it and they'd go on those 10-0 runs, 9-0 runs, 12-2 runs. A lot of it was at the end of quarters. Um, so I, I, you know, it's, it's you as a player, you know how to be physical. We know how to be physical. And that doesn't mean like go out there and do unnecessary stuff, but just being in an attack mode more or less. So um, that's definitely the emphasis what today was about. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. 
asked, and I'm glad you brought up those runs. Coach Malone has talked about urgency being there more consistently for you guys after that game one. So when they do go on those runs, what do you guys need to do in order to limit them and get yourself back on track instead of just letting that snowball? Um, I think just uh, understand the moment. You know, I mean, you know, as the run's happening while it's happening. You know what I mean? And so this execution has got to be more important. Um, and then our defense, you, you got to hang your hat on that sometimes. You know, I mean, especially, uh, you know, right now, uh, our defense has to be top tier. Um, and we left a lot of mistakes out there on the floor as a unit, uh, collectively, individually, myself, everybody. So um, I think that would help shorten these runs if, you know, we, we were, were more, uh, our communication has been on the defensive end. Uh, I think defense always controls a lot of time in the offense. You can see early on in the game, we were really flying up the court, getting open threes, playing at a faster pace, but that's because we were getting the ball off the rim instead of other than that. So I think if we can just continue to sharpen up our defense of, of, of uh, execution, uh, there'll be less runs. Adam Mares, DNVR. Hey, Austin, as you got into the film and looked at the defense, did you feel that there were more mistakes up up top, either in isolation and pick and roll at the sort of point of attack, or was it more on the backside with the reactions and rotations? Both. It was everything. They're a really good offensive team. I mean, they have two, you know, but I thought we did a great job defending their guards. I mean, you look at the numbers, you know, uh, I mean, Damian obviously played really well. And, um but they had other guys that affect Nurkic hurt us sometimes and Anthony Simmons hurt us and, and Carmelo really hurt us. Um, you know, they hit eight of their, I mean, Carmelo and Anthony alone hit eight threes together. That, that's a, that's, that's 24 points, I man. That's a big off the bench. Um, so, you know, on the ball, we could be better. I could be better. Um, although I thought we did pretty damn well in that, in that regard. Um, I just think our physicality has to, has to be better in our I think the main thing is what you just said alluded to is our weak side defense has to pick up um and us flying you know it's going to be a game where sometimes it might not be perfect but we're just putting out fires flying around the paint flying around the perimeter running them off the three-point line they take 40 something threes a game we got to run them off the, the three-point line and make them play inside that arc Mike Singer Denver Post Austin, Monte just said that you guys as guards can't give Dame and CJ a break on the defensive end. What does that look like from your guys' perspective in terms of being aggressive uh, and maybe hunting for your shot a little bit more uh, specifically from your guys' backcourt? For sure. I mean, I look at, I mean, I'll just speak for myself. I don't like to speak for other players. So I'll just analyze myself. I was displeased with how non-aggressive I was. Um, I shot five shots yesterday or six shots. I think most of them were just threes. Everybody knows I'm going to, I obviously shoot the three ball and I'm a, I'm a capable three point shooter, but my best, my best attributes are me attacking the basket and attacking an open court. And I didn't do any of that. The one time I did, I got a layup and the other time I got to the free throw line. Um, so I think we got to understand that they don't have any rim protection either. Um, so we got to start – so, that, you know, we got to attack them the way they attacked us because that's how they got a lot of threes with them t attacking and spraying out. So it's not even about us scoring. It's just us getting into the paint and having their defense converge. We have guys like Michael and guys who can really shoot the ball out there on the floor and athletic guys like Aaron who are cutting and slashing, Jokic who could pass. I feel like we just got to really start kind of attacking more just as a whole, as a unit, uh, not even just at those two guards. It don't matter who's on the floor, uh, who's guarding. Anybody who's on the floor for Portland, we got to do a better job of attacking uh, the paint. I feel like we were a little bit um, hesitant last night and a little bit, you know, stagnant. And uh, in, in terms of, you know, just myself, there were times where I, like, I would pull back or think, you know, let me just pass and go to the corner in space. But like, there's always time for that. And um, you got to know what you do well. And I work, you know, we work too hard individually to not trust our instincts and, and, and coach wants us to, he pushes us to do that. He trusts us to do that. So I would, I would, I would imagine that everybody's a unit tomorrow is going to be more aggressive um, attacking tomorrow. Christos Saltas, SDNA Greece. Hello, Austin. Hope you're doing well. How could you describe the, the mood in the locker room after the game and tonight uh, on tonight's video session? And from 30, uh, from the 30 clips that you showed tonight, uh, today as a team, is there anything that uh, surprising you? Uh, you uh, is there anything that surprising you about the Blazers game? Um, 
No, I mean, I, I'll be honest. After the game last night, nobody was really down. It was just more so we were looking at each other like, you know, we know we kind of messed that up ourselves. We, we had multiple times where we were up double digits and then we let them come back in a span of a minute or two because they'd go on these monster runs. And that had to do with most of our defensive of, uh, you know, lacking defense sometimes. And um, I feel we felt like as a, as a whole yesterday after the game, everybody kind of felt like, OK, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to beat us four times. And they got one game. So they have three more to go. It's a long series. This is going to be a long series. This wasn't going to be a series where we were going to beat them in four games or they're going to beat us in four games. It's just too good of teams, too good of players. Um, teams make adjustments. So I feel, I feel like, obviously, you as a home court advantage, you want to win that first game always. Um, but, you know, what we can do now is adjust. And, and obviously, like you said, tomorrow's a big one for us. So, um, you know, we, we, we just kind of moved on. There's no point even harping about it. You don't have time in the playoffs, you know, we play in less than 24 hours or 24 hours from now, we're going to be right back tipping it up. So I think everybody understood that tomorrow our defense has to really pick up. Offense will take care of itself. We have guys who know what they need to do better. You know, some guys will attack more. Some guys will look for their shots more. Some guys will look to pass more. Depends on who you are. Everybody's going to play their role. But um, defensively, we got to be better. And uh, we just moved on forward. It was all good vibes. Too early for that. All right, Austin, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Katie Wingy from Altitude Sports. Austin, Jokic had obviously a very productive night, 34 points, but he only had one assist, which I think is the lowest that he's been held to all season. I, obviously, you guys can feel that when they're trying to play him one-on-one -on -one and they're not sending the double team. Are, are you okay with that offensively of just like feeding him and saying go to work or how can you help him? I mean, yeah, that, their, their game plan last night was to have nobody else hurt them. You know, I mean, their, their whole thing was, OK, if Jokic gets off, that's fine. But nobody else can can get off. The way you defeat that is look for your opportunities and attack. They're still there. I have no problem with Jokic. I mean, he had 30 points by the third quarter. I have no problem with that. Uh, he is um, the best big man in the NBA. He is the MVP. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, dropping the ball to him in the post is never a bad idea. Uh, he, he bails us out a lot of times. Um, so, you know, I, we're going to continue to play through that, but everybody else also has to step up and be aggressive in attack. Can't just be Jokic down there, you know, doing his thing all the time. He, he needs help too. So we realize that and everybody makes adjustments. And I think we all were, I don't want to say disappointed in ourselves because that's just too deep of a, of a saying, but I think we all looked at ourselves after the game last night, like, okay, I, I could be better. I could, I, I could attack more. I can help out this way. I need to cut. Some guys got to give themselves up and cut, create spacing for Jokic so he can make passes because we're all kind of just standing and watching. So it's not like there were really opportunities for him. It'd been one thing if he just wasn't passing. Like there wasn't a lot of opportunities for him to, to, to get open people shots. So we can move and make it a lot easier for him. Um, so I think tomorrow that'll be the case. All right. That'll do it. Thank you, Austin. All right, John. I'll be safe.